Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I'm Ryan. I'm a huge American Girl doll fan. And um, without further ado, I present to you The World by Us. So obviously Maritza is missing because the paycheck did not hit like that yet. But trust and believe that Maritza will be likely joining us sometime this year. But today we have two of the girls with us, Yvette and McKenna. McKenna? Sorry, I can never say that name. McKenna. Okay, so anyways, today I went and I got this adorable, I mean, I, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, I brought Jade with me and I had her in this super cute outfit. It's giving me, her hair is giving me like ex Tina vibes. Like, I love it. She's serving the whole fantasy, so she looks really cute, and I love it. Well, anyways, I also have this Squishmallow that I got. Halloween one. Um, he's really cute, but I don't like this. So, I'm gonna cut it and then just, you know, like, fix it myself and everything. And, yeah, it's gonna be really cute. So, let's just start with some of the other stuff I got today, too. So, um... I did get some outfits. I finally got the cute Ireland outfit and I was debating between this one and um, uh, Joss's little like pants outfit, but I ended up really liking this. I really like Italy too, but I think this is the best um, piece that you could get for the price because you can mix and match so much stuff with that. It's just like tons of cute pieces in here. And yeah, I got that. And then I also got uh, Courtney's Care Bear pajamas. Like I've been wanting this for a while. So I finally picked up this. It was just so cute. And yeah. Okay, so time for the girls. The girls, ladies and gentlemen, her. So here is Akina. She is gorgeous. This is the box. It's very different for AJ. It's a huge printed sticker of them on it. The box um, has a little, as seen in World by Us, little logo right there. And then uh, you have this cool color design. I really like this for them. It's playful, nice. Uh, also another different thing, stars are scattered all over on the sides. I think it's a beautiful little detail that they added. It's really nice. So this is actually my sister's doll, so I'm gonna let her open this one and I'm gonna um, film it for you guys. And then, yeah, just give me one second. She's super cute. Here's her book, See Me, Hear Me, Know Me. It's really pretty. And then here she is in all her glory. So pretty. I don't know how I feel about the outfit though guys. Like it's alright to me. It's, it is a little play line in my opinion, but you know, um the doll's gorgeous. That's all that matters to me. I'm really surprised guys. I thought that by the stock photos I wouldn't really like her as much because she like she was giving like you know, Springfield, a little bit of, you know, um, what's that Walmart brand again? My Life As, but in person, she's just absolutely so unique and stunning. And yeah, I'm going to give you guys a full review as soon as my sister's done un uh, unveiling her. Oh, the butterfly clips are the accessories? Oh, they didn't even come with that. Yeah, I just, that's weird. I didn't know that the butterfly clips were part of the accessories. Well, well, accessories are $35, so that's a little too much for accessories, I would say. But, wow. Look at her light brown eyes. She's gorgeous. Wait, I feel like her eyes are lighter than usual, right? Do you feel like yeah. that, too? Look at the hair. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She is, she is the star of this release, guys. She's incredible gorgeous this face mold is adorable in person this year okay so let me just get seated again i'll give you guys a full review of her oh here she is out of box and let's just get into it get into it yeah so 
We're gonna start off with the hair. So, um, the amazing thing about this, guys, her hair is textured. So it's textured hair. It's not even, it's not the normal wig hair, guys. She's textured. So this hair is, you know, it, this hairstyle is gonna hold up. It's gonna be amazing. It's, it's just gorgeous. And the braids, like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding, dude? Like, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's start with face paint. So, um, she has really nice, a new brow pattern. It's like the laminated brows, the soap brow trend. She probably has one of the prettiest brows in the mall, so. She does have the painted eyelashes, and, um, around the eyelashes, there's a little bit of a brown shadow. It's definitely some light makeup they have going on. And then, um... Her lips are a really, really nice. Um, I, they have like a little like reddish tint to them, like a little, I don't know, yeah, like a, a reddish brown. So it's really nice. Um, yeah, her outfit, the see me, hear me T-shirt, nice. It's, it's just like whatever. The outfit's not really that, you know, crazy to me. And then um, the skirt, it's pleated, ombre. Feels kind of cheap though, it's a little thin, I would say. And this little piece right here, the little waistband, it just, I don't know, this outfit is just really playline to me. Don't even get me started on the shoes, they're not my fave either, they just look really cheap. And they're just plastic, but overall, you're buying her for the doll because she's worth having in the collection. It's just her outfit needs to go. Like so, hopefully, like her other collection gets released soon, so we could get actually cute outfits for her. And yeah, this is Makina, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gal. Okay, guys, so now it's my turn. This is Yvette Peters. Um, let me introduce to you guys one of the prettiest girls in this group. Just kidding, they're all really pretty, but I love Yvette so much. It was a decision between Maritza and Yvette for me, but honestly, like as soon as I saw Yvette, I just knew she had to be the first one to come home with me. So here she is in box, same deal. The little stickers on here, World by Us, little circle right there. Stars scattered all over, really pretty. Opening them. How did you open them? So oh, how did you open them so fast? It's that. Excited. Yeah, it's excitement. Oh my god, I'm so scared of the snapping. Ah, okay, whatever, it snapped anyway. So she's almost out there. Guys, funny story, while I was in the store, there was also this couple in there, and like, um, they brought all three characters to this private little back table, and they were like, like, choosing for hours, like, like, you know, just making sure that the doll they were getting was perfect, and I'm like, that's, a, that's, I know a collector when I see a collector, because, you know, people will think, oh, just grab the first one you see, there's nothing wrong with it, no, there is, I had to make sure, look at every single one to make sure that especially with dolls like this with like makeup on it's not gonna be consistent so you have to make sure that the eyelashes freckles everything is perfect so here she is I am um, shook it look at this gorgeous face so her freckles are pretty much very very light I don't even know if you guys could see them sorry it's like really bright but her freckles are super light and um her eyes these are a gray color. I don't know why, but they feel so much lighter to me than Molly's eyes because Molly's gray eyes are kind of dark to me. The 35th anniversary ones, I mean. But if they're the same guys, let me know. Because I don't know, just this one feels so much lighter to me. So her brows are different than Makina's. This one is thicker, but they still have the bushy lamination trend going on. Her lips are a little orange. Um, they're orange peach, they're really nice. It goes well with her. Nothing like Tenny's. Tenny's has, has a dreadful lip color, so. 
I said not talking. Let's take out the freaking hair. There you go. I am so excited because Yvette's hair, guys, is insane. Oh my gosh. Guys, I am having words right now. Oh my gosh. She's so pretty. I feel it like, oh my god, she's gorgeous. Wow. Oh my god, guys, I'm beyond happy. Okay, so let's do a review and you know, pause my eye. So, obviously, her hair is super, super wavy and curly. This pattern is completely new for AG, guys. So, I'm sure you all know. AG usually has a certain curl pattern that will go for most of the dolls. I don't know the numbers of it, but um, I'm gonna say Cecile Ray. She has the curl that everyone usually has in most of the dolls, and that one is fairly easy to maintain. Um, all it really needs is just water and, like, you know, like a little twist. But this one, it's hard for me to explain. It's not a ringlet. It's like a, such a realistic curl pattern it's something i've never seen before and it just looks so realistic because a lot of biracial girls will have this hair and it's just it's gorgeous and i would say it's in between a wave and a curl because it does have some curl to it but a lot of it is going to be like very wavy and like you know it's the type of hair that you would take care of with with, like, with mousse and stuff and um, yeah, it's really nice, but the thing is, I probably would not recommend this for younger kids because I could already tell that that with rough play and just everything, it's going to become a really, really frizzy mess. And this is just not the hair that you brush, guys. So let that be clear that if you're looking to get um, a doll for your child, this is definitely not the one unless they, they, you know, they're more of the collector type and just, you know, know how to manage dolls. This is definitely not a good first doll, I would say. But the hair is gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And yeah, I'm 100% sure that I might get some frizziness with this if, you know, carrying it around and handling it too rough. But overall, she's gorgeous. I think she's absolutely worth it. Her dress feels amazing. It feels amazing. Like, I love the quality of it. There's lace detailing right here. Um, her belt is really nice quality as well. It is a gorgeous little belt with a gold buckle. Her shoes, amazing quality as well. It's like they gave Makina all like cheap fabrics and shoes and stuff, but like this one, leather, um, laces, and it has like even the little like, you know, soles gorgeous. Anyways, um, her undies, just nothing personalized. It's just been the basic undies that all the dolls have been getting these days. But guys, when I tell you I am completely and utterly in love with her, I mean that like from the bottom of my heart. Like, oh my gosh, they, they did amazing with this hair. It's, it's gorgeous. And yeah, I just, I hope they do release some type of video to teach you how to take care of her hair because this is a very different curl pattern and it's, yeah, I, I do not even know how to recommend taking care of this and I've had dolls for a long time. So it's definitely new to me. I will let you guys know how I managed to take care of it. But you know what? I think water will go a long way with this. You know, just scrunching it if it ever gets too frizzy. Just calm it down with some water. But yeah, definitely something you will not brush. So anyways, guys, that was... Uh, where's Makina? She has no pants on? Give me that. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> Makina and Eva and... American Girl, you did amazing with this line. I can't wait to see what else you do with this line. Hopefully, we get some Asian characters soon. That's super important to us. And um, yeah, I hope we get some more characters soon in this line. I truly hope that we get some Middle Eastern characters too. That's the representation that needs to happen as well. And yeah, um, 
Makina and Yvette. We're out. Peace, y'all.